Hello everyone, my name is Jaybird and welcome back to I got to the canteen even before dinner. Oh, it froze. Damn it. Oh, yummy. Why does it always freeze? There you go. Fortunately, it was already open, but no food was being served. I took my favorite seat in the farthest corner and concentrated on playing with a toothpick. Soon I got the feeling that someone was standing next to me. I raised my eyes and spotted Olga Dmitrievna. We just stared at each other for some time. Do you need something? I'll go take it. Oh, did you want to? Yeah, I kind of wanted to. Okay, you can try. Do you need something? That's me! Oh, okay. Finally, I broke the silence. You know, Samuel. Sure. What? I ask, surprised. Did you think I didn't notice your absence last night? Absence is quite an overstatement. I'd rather say I just went out for a moment. That's you. Uh, well, so what? <laughs> okay, you do it. I'm done. Well, I did so the voices. What? What's the, what's the matter? I thought that it was nothing, too, but I was determined to check. The camp leader's expression was increasingly heading towards a frown. So, have you checked? I still couldn't understand what she was up to. Yeah, I checked! And you know what? For a true pioneer, it is... It is... It's just unacceptable! It's shameful! It's disgraceful! Especially with her! She flushed red with exertion. I don't even want to hear your pitiful excuses! I have a idea of what she was talking about dawned on me. So, what happened? Would you care to explain? And now you've got the nerve to play innocent. You, the fool Yana! Now it all became crystal clear. I've got two things to tell you. First, I started getting steamed up. Nothing of that sort happened there, Adam, and I'm the last one who was, has any relation to the situation. And you seem fat. Second, I rudely interrupted her. Who told you that? In fact, the answer was obvious. Uliana would not do that. And if she had decided to once again play a trick on me, she would have done it much earlier. In the time spent here, I'd begun to understand her well. And that leaves only one possible candidate. Why does it matter? No, no, it does. Would you care to explain your behavior then? Olga Dmitrievna seemed to be a little taken aback by my vehemence. There's nothing to explain! I think we got up and headed to the exit of the canteen. Semyon, wait! I heard the camp leader's weak prattle behind me. If you act decisively with her, then she is not that confident. So now I have to get things straight with Devachas. Devachevskaya. While her pranks hadn't concerned me, or only really concerned me indirectly, I could bear it. Just thinking about it, I even started to consider her not such a bad person. I met Slavia at the square. Do you know where Alyssa is? Do you know where Yes, I do. What do you think Read us on the screen! Yes, I do. What's the matter? Just tell me! My words sounded obviously rough, but it seems that she didn't pay it any attention. She's actually using clubs. Slavia. Yes. 
Savio's was right, and I met Alyssa in the music club. However, she was accompanied by Miku. Yeah, that's what she's called. Although, in the, um, Russian version, she has a different name that starts with an M, but I think they just translate to the Mind explaining yourself? I didn't waste time on pleasantries. No, what makes you think so? Also gave me a cute smile. is to talk to Olga Dmitrievna again. God damn it. Found her on the canteen porch. How long have I been recording? Eight minutes, okay. By that time, the sun had nearly disappeared behind the horizon. You came back after all, she began. Olga Dmitrievna, could you tell me honestly who told you about it? I've just spoken to Dubatchevskaya. It's not her. Liana wouldn't do it herself, so who? In fact, I myself didn't realize why I needed to know this. Initially, I just was just mad at Alyssa, but now... Well... She hesitated. Some strange girl. But this still doesn't... A strange girl? Well, yes, but n not from our camp, it seemed. Why did she tell you about this? How should I know? Olga Dmitrievna, but this is... I took a deep breath and turned away. Just why does she have to obviously lie? Although, maybe she's just, she was trying to protect somebody? Let's say, damn, I cannot even imagine. All right. I said quietly and walked briskly away from the canteen. I had absolutely no desire to continue listening to Olga Dmitrievna's stupid lies, or so-called camp leader. I walked aimlessly, completely lost in thought. Are you on guard duty? I heard a cheerful voice from behind. It was Uyana. Oh my gosh. Nothing special, just... 
Seems like there was no chance of finding out who Olga Dmitrievna's informer was, and yesterday's incident was hushed up somehow, so I decided not to think about it. What do you have planned for the evening? Nothing, I guess. After all my frantic attempts to uncover the truth, I felt some inexplicable guilt before listening to Uliana. But exactly the guilt before Uliana was about was completely unheard of. Didn't I have a suggestion? What is it? I find a video cassette for Paul. Her eyes flashed conspiratorially. <laughs> and? the sims that's all that strange feeling of guilt i felt in front of uliana wasn't giving me a chance to refuse immediately you can do the things through the window she turned mischievously well you know maybe you're right i wish we could get a key you mentioned it. Yes, I've got a key. Next time I'd better think before I speak. That's good, you know, quickly we're going to get to the <laughs> <laughs> I was already starting to forget to forget about what had happened this evening, about my frantic attempts to get the truth from Olsa and Olga Dimitrovna. Da da da. Ah, I froze a little bit. That's okay. We're done with this video for now. Wait, can I do, can I do like my own outro first and then you do your outro? Yes. Oh. This was Everlasting Summer. Thank you for listening to me, Hatsune Miku. <laughs> I have music and I sing very well. Please visit again and I will be here. Maybe if I am on the video, but I will sing. <laughs> if you would like me to do more music, I shall sing on my own channel. Please just send 15 likes on this video and I will make my own music. Cause that's what I do. <laughs> I have my music. Let me show you some before I leave. Oh my god. Just a little bit. <laughs> Just a small town girl living in a lonely world. You're so intelligent. The cold never <laughs> bothered me. The cold never.
never bothered me anyway. <laughs> what happened to you, Nisi? I started smoking. Oh, God. <laughs> no, I am just kidding. I am Miku. I am not that fuzzy thing that is the smoker. I am a robot, and robots cannot smoke. Good uh, Every every video I do with you is an experience. That is true. Okay, so that me go off. Shut up now. Forever. Until I'm done with the video. Okay. That being said, if you guys enjoyed this episode of Everlasting Summer and would like to see more of this game, then leave a like down below, leave a comment down below. Share with your friends, subscribe if you haven't, ring that notification bell, and remember... Oh my god, I'm <laughs> <laughs> Die the same way. Bye-bye! <laughs>